In this video we're very briefly going to cover the concept of applying damage and rot conditions to a pole to uh, adjust its effective ground line circumference and thus, its, and thus uh, adjust its capacity to reflect any damage that might be present in the field. So here I have a fairly simple pole with uh, a couple of primaries and a couple of uh, uh, under underbuilts and so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to view tools strength reduction calculator so the very first thing I can do is I can apply shell rot to the pole so here I have my original ground line circumference of 34.82 inches uh, which was derived from whatever method I happen to have used either manufactured or measure or actual measurements and I'm going to apply a little bit of shell rot so I can adjust I can adjust the, the circumference to the current cycle circumference and then I can go ahead and I can say alright we're gonna add a little bit of damage so we're gonna add uh, a, a, some more damage let's say so I've got a three inch wide one inch deep uh, mower damage at the 90 degree position okay and now I can see that my effective circumference at this point, having applied all those elements, is 33.33 inches. I can then tell the system, and obviously I could add as many damages as I wanted, and I can also click on them and remove them and edit them and so on and so forth. Um, but now I've got to the point where I have a calculated effective ground line circumference. And what I can do is tell the system, I would like you to apply that ground line circumference to the pole. So I go in here and I click Apply Circumference. This will close the strength count. Do I want to continue? Yes, it will. Goes ahead and applies it. And now you notice that my capacity utilization went up. And if I go look at my pole in my data entry screen and I go under my circumferences tab, you can see that the value of apply effective ground line circumference has been switched over to yes, and the effective ground line circumference has in fact been populated. Of course, I could have manually come and put those values in myself, but using the calculator is a very useful way to accurately calculate these values, especially in the case where you have a lot of damage and you ha have that damage combined with, let's say, shell rot or heart rot or so on and so forth. Um, so that's the effective circumference tool, uh, and it's a very useful way to very accurately model the remaining capacity on a pole that includes damage and rot.